Let's do a kick sample anyway. This is what I do. So for a kick sample, I want to choose a place where I've got a very good flow and I've got decent gravel and stones. I wouldn't do it in that very still part because that's not where our animals are living. We want to do it in a place where I've got decent flow. And I'll do it just here. That's that's grand. You've maybe wanted to you see there's a, there's a bit of shallow area up there. That's called a riffle where water's tumbling over the stones. That's the best place to do it. Okay, but I'll do it here just to show you. So I'll put this on the side. And all you do for a kick sample is as follows. You've got your net and you put that on the bed of the stream. You press reasonably firmly on the bed of the stream. And what you're aiming to do is just to use your toe of your boot to disturb and turn over the stones like that. And what you're trying to do is the animals, th these animals I'm talking about, they all live on or under stones. And when you kick and disturb like this, you're disturbing them and they, they're getting swept up by the current and you're catching them in the net. And you do that for 30 seconds. You count it out or you can do 30 kicks or something like that. As long as you're consistent, it doesn't really matter exactly how long you do it for, but about 30 seconds. And I'm trying to kick up these stones, hoping that I'm catching the animals that are going to drift into my net. And uh, I might just go and get a fast flowing bit down here to make sure I do get the, the animals that live in fast flowing water. So, there it is. Now if it's very fast flowing, you might have a lot of gravel in there. And I'll show you a little technique later on for getting rid of that. So I've got my animals. And I take some clean water. You want to get about half an inch of clean water in there clean because it's then easier to see the animals and I'm going to nibble the net to get them down and then I'm going to pop them into here and all you just do is you just sort of dibble the net in the tray back out again just check if there's any animals left there's one or two and I'll dibble it back again and straight away you can see there are very large numbers of, if you look on your sheet, it's in the little box at the bottom, one of these animals that don't count, it's the freshwater shrimp. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Okay, so I can I can leave it here. Uh, or should I bring it up there? Which is easier? I'll bring it up there, shall I, Karen? So it's teeming with life. Well, that's good. It's just not teeming with the life we really want. Um, those shrimp are, they, they feed on fungal biomass, algal biomass. Uh, they're largely vegetarian um, and they indicate that there's probably lots of um, organic rich food in the stream. So, in fact, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, uh, yeah, I'll get another, I'll get this. There's something else in there as well, which is straight away a, a baggie. So I'll just connect them through by and I'll, I'll try to sort of pick out the ones that uh, I want to show you. So, here's my little little tree. Um, catch with there he is, look bang. So this guy here, that's the shrimp and you can see there he is. Uh, when you see very large numbers like this, that's telling you a thing, but they occur everywhere. So unless you want to start counting numbers, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna bother. Uh, let's get some. So there we are, look, what's this guy here? You can see him, he's a leech. And I knew it was a leech because he was, if you watch him, there you are, sucker to sucker. Sucker, he'll stop there soon. He'll put his foot sucker down and then he'll pull his, that, that you can see uh, he's, he's anchored. There he is. So sucker to sucker. So you can see he's not a worm. He's a, he's a leech. What do we have else? Um, okay, quite a bunch of things here. This guy here, I can catch him. Bang, there he is, look. Um, you can see he, sw he swims 
Well, when he did, before I caught him, he was. He swims like a <laughs> he swims like a fish, and you can see he's got three tails. Okay, now I'm afraid I've done for him. I'm afraid, but he's got three little tails. And he's moving. He's moving. Yeah, he'll 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 survive for the time being. Uh, there he is. He's the swimming mayfly, and they they do swim like little fish. All right, and if you see them swimming away, that's a swimming mayfly. There's one there. Look, there he is. You see there, they wriggle like that. Uh, again, they're found almost everywhere. Um, and they don't really indicate a great deal. So what are we looking for? We've got the, the shrimp, we have a, may, a swimming mayfly, and you can see that's pretty much all we have. Um, but there is something else I saw earlier. Karen, if you see them, will you? Uh, no, I, I, well, I didn't see that. You might have seen it. Let's have a look. It'll pop out soon, I did see one. Bum, 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 bum. There he is. Okay, so this guy here, much more, much. He's a crustacean, but moves much more slowly than the gamorous. And this guy here, he is the water louse, and he does look like that. Okay, so we have the water louse. He's like an under, underwater wood louse. So we have a leech, and we have a water louse. Do I have a flattened mayfly? No. Do I have a green caddisfly? No. Do I have a stonefly? So you need to look for a little while. I think after a few minutes, these things become more apparent. Your eye gets used to it. Um, and I, I, I mean, you, you, you would probably have to look for a few minutes. I can, my, I'm, I'm used to these things. So I can spot them more quickly. I can't see any stoneflies. Ah, there. Is a little snail. Oh, now these these little snails are they're very hard to spot, but uh, the experience there it is that little black one. Uh, it might start to move. It looks like a little bit of gravel, but it's uh, the New Zealand mud snail, and uh, these have come to us from New Zealand. They've been introduced, well, we think about a hundred years ago, and they're clonal. So they, they don't uh, reproduce sexually, they reproduce asexually um, and the, you find them everywhere. You find very large densities where you get polluted streams. So we have in our tray, what's the score from, from so far? If we turn over here, what's the score? Minus three. Minus three. So we have a minus three. I've got none, none of, the, um, of the flattened mayflies, none of the green caddisflies and no stoneflies. It's a minus three. Mm. And the sheer abundance of these shrimp tell you, and look at that big fat cellist that I caught there, look, he's, he's dead, but uh, there he is. Um, so it's telling us this is not a good stream.